Is that correct? Yes, sir. And in what department are you? I'm a theater major. Of course. Where, where else but a theater major doing this? What, uh, what have been some of the reactions today? People ask you what this is all about? Um, yes, a couple people have come up and asked me, like, what, so what's your deal? I don't get it. Are you in a graveyard or are you some kind of grim reaper? There have been a lot of different interpretations. Actually, I think it's very original to me. But I was I was standing outside the mass communication building on the campus, and I saw you coming in the distance. I said, "What is this coming toward me?" Did I not? Yes, sir. Uh, and we, here we end up doing an interview about. It. But how perfect for for a theater major! Tell us about your what you're doing in the theater department. What's your specialty there? Um, I'm actually a technical theater emphasis. I focus on props and scenic painting. And are you working on a production right now? Um, not at not at the moment, but I did do props for Red at the beginning of the semester. And what do you want to do upon a gra uh, graduation? Um, I'm planning on moving to Houston and freelancing with props and scenic painting at the theater companies up there. Well, let us wish you all the best. You seem to have you have this career going on right now. Uh, but let me wish you all the best in your future career and all the best here for the Halloween season. Thank you very much. Well, that's it from the campus on Halloween. Next up on the, on the feature segment here, we have an interview that I think you're going to enjoy because it's all about uh, the student newspaper at Sam Houston State University and it's 100th, that's 100 folks, 100th anniversary, something to really celebrate. What, what entails being a business manager for a student newspaper? Well, I do. What all goes on in your job? I work with the sales staff. And, and these are students? These are students, all students in the newsroom. There's an editorial staff and a sales staff. And I keep all the accounting records for the newspaper because we actually sell advertising. So it's, it's, it's run just like a regular newspaper. It is. It's a, a little it's business, a, absolutely. And how is business? Well, it's interesting. The Internet is helping take over our advertising sales. We have a lot of very loyal customers, departments at the university and around town. We have a good staff of salespeople that bring us print advertising also. Now, you say the, the Internet. Mm -hmm. Do you mean ads or people are purchasing ads from you through the internet? Well actually we have a wonderful website and we sell advertising on that website. We get over 40,000 hits a month. So this is potential advertisers responding to your website? That's right. Well that's, that's the era we live in now. Yes it is. Um, so all, the, all your ad salespersons are, student, are current students at Sam Houston, correct? Yes they are. Well it's a great learning experience then for anybody that wants to go into Media sales, is Absolutely, it not? and business. They have to learn how to follow up and do things properly, good business ethics. Best I can tell, business must be good because every time I pick up the Houstonian, it looks like there is more advertising in there. And, of course, I always equate more advertising with success. Absolutely, and we have to give our the editorial staff a big uh, thank you for that. They keep people really interested in the newspaper, which we can sell and give away. There's no fee f to pick up the newspaper. In but my it, view, the Houstonian is a high-quality product. Thank a you. Journalistic product. Thank you. Uh, I think it really, you're right. The editorial staff does a terrific job there, and, and they, the two complement each other, the advertising and the editorial. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, and let's, keep, let's hope that continues as it's going now. Thank you. Patty, let's talk about something that's, this is an important year for speaking of the Houstonian. It's a real important year, isn't it? Absolutely. It's the 100th anniversaries. From 1913 to 2013, the Houstonian's been on the Sam Houston campus. I wonder how many collegiate newspapers have had that, that much history. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Surely I would think this, is, this one ranks up there pretty high in terms of, I mean, 100 years. A hundred years. Um, that's a pretty good, pretty good span and, and still going strong. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about this year. What is going to be occurring to commemorate the hundred years for the uh, Houstonian newspaper? Well, we have a lot of activities and a lot of Internet uh, active things going on. We spent the summer 
collecting the names of all of the alumni that were ever in any of the Houstonian papers, the editors, the photographers, all of that, and we have over that, that a must thousand. That a tremendous undertaking. It was. How did, you, how did you track all those names down? Well, we actually had a student, Holly Allen, who had graduated, came in to help us out, and she went down to the archives and looked in the, every newspaper for a semester. So at the beginning of the semester, she looked at the newspaper and got all the names. The next semester, looked at the newspaper, got all the names. What a job. Yep. Do we still have copies of the 1913 Houston? Not quite the 1913 <laughs> one, no. How far back? Almost into 1913, I think, but not the very first one. Right. But the actual, we have actual hard copies, though. Yes. Going back to that period. Yes. That must be fascinating to look at. It is fun. We're um, actually going to the archives and getting old photographs and putting them on our website. We're asking the, uh, anyone that has old photographs they'd like to share to send them to us. They can mail them or send them to us online, and we'd like to put them on the website. Well, that's, that's quite an undertaking. That's um, one of the activities. Well, I got, I got us off the track a little bit. Uh, continue. Tell us about some of the events that are going to go on in conjunction with this. Thank you. We're um, starting out on November 9th with a big tailgating party. We're giving away T-shirts that the wonderful Dean's office has provided to us. They're commemorative 100-year anniversary T-shirts. We have games, and that'll be at Bauer Stadium, the tailgating at 11.30 to 2. Then on December 3rd, which is our actual anniversary date, we're gonna have the whole Dan Rather Communication Building open with the newsroom and a gallery where we'll have some of the older newspapers and other photographs, lots of things. That newsroom is the second floor where the gallery will be. We hope to have activities throughout the building. Still working on that, but it'll be open from 3.30 to 5.45. And it's open to the public? Open to the public. We're and that's, what day of the week is that? December? That's a Tuesday. Tuesday, December 3rd. That is actually the last week of classes, I believe. Yes, it is. And it's also the big uh, tree lighting ceremony that's been happening at Sam Houston University for 80, 90 years now. Yeah, and that will start event. at 6. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a big day. It will be. Are any previous staffers of the Houstonian coming back, kind of like a homecoming? We hope so. We're starting to send out announcements and invitations via email next week. And then we have some people that are alumni that we don't have email addresses for, but we have regular what we call snail mail addresses. So we'll be sending out those kind of invitations too through the mail. We're going to try to connect with as many people as we can. Have you been hearing from some of the Writers, editors of the past? Some of the more recent ones, yes. The ones from the 50s and 60s, we're really looking forward to hearing from and on up. I wonder how many total former staffers there are of the Houstonians. We from, came from up... From over 100 years. Yes, we came up with uh, over 1,000 names. Wow. That's pretty amazing. It is. It's very exciting. Yeah. So to go all the way back to 1913... Yes, well, we didn't get to go back that far because we knew we wouldn't be able to connect with everybody. <laughs> Let's see, my mother started to work on the Houston Post during World War I, so that would have been around 1917, 1918, so okay. it preceded, preceded even her. Yes, it uh, did. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Well, let me ask you, you're the business manager of the paper. How does one get to be the business manager of a student newspaper? Well, it's an honor. It's the, it's a great job. It's just the best job ever. How long have you been here at Sam Houston? I'm starting my third year. And what led you to here? How did you get to here? Well, we had the opportunity to move to Texas. From where? From California, which is why I'm wearing a California costume. Right. I've got, my, I've got my Halloween tie on. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell, can you? Yeah. A little bit orange, I would say. Well, that's for Bearcat Halloween. Right. Go ahead. And um, Sam Houston State University, we were, my husband and I were just drawn to it. It's a wonderful, friendly, friendly place to work. And so and it, I just waited and waited until the right opportunity came up. So, had you ever worked for a newspaper before? Not a newspaper. I'm in accounting and sales. 
And so it's been really fun for me to learn the newspaper business. Yeah, well, we need, we all need accountants. We all have to pay taxes, and, or most of us. So <laughs> yeah. It always helps to know have no people to know how to do that. Right, and sales is sales. And and this this newspaper is, as you said, it's a business. It is a business. Absolutely. How many, how many help you with the on the business side of the paper? How many I, students? I manage the business end. And there but do the are, students that are selling ads, do they report to you or to the editor? How does that work? They report to the sales manager, who is a student, and she reports to me. And then I um, keep track of the sales and motivate the sales staff and help her learn sales. I teach them how to go out and sell and be credible. This is like a class within a class almost. It you? is, yeah. Can any student volunteer to, to work on the paper to help sell ads? And Absolutely, do sure. So you do not have to be a necessarily a mass comm major? Or? No, not at all. Not at all. So we have anybody all can majors. come in and say, I'd like to volunteer to help sell ads, learn that craft, learn how to do that. Right. And, and they get paid commissions. They get 10% every time an advertising sale is paid for. So they go out, talk to a customer, they want to advertise in the newspaper, and when the customer pays their invoice, the student gets 10%. I will say, I, so far back, I can hardly remember, but when I was in high school, we did, I did some of that. And I remember it, was, it wasn't easy. It was getting out there and going to see uh, retailers, mostly at that time, and seeing if they'd buy an ad in our high school newspaper. And some did, and some were a little tougher. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, but it was a great learning experience. That's what I'm hoping and, for the students. And you also learned how to deal with people. Absolutely. Well, before we wrap up here, is there anything else about the 100th anniversary celebration that people in Huntsville in this area should know about so that they can participate in it? Well, absolutely. Again, we're looking for pictures. We're looking for um, anyone who worked for the Houstonian to contribute a column. We have and a who, section. What's the number? Where should they call? Well, we have some contact information. Maybe we could get that up. There's an email address. There's phone numbers. And I think we're really looking forward to some of the alumni sending us a column that we can put in the newspaper. That section of the newspaper will be called um, After the Deadline. And Great name. It'll be fun. Yeah. Are they doing a special edition of the paper? For, yes. For that? Well, that, we got that to look forward to. I, always, I know. It's, it's gonna always be great a, to see special editions like that. It's going to be a real surprise. It's going to be wonderful. I'm sure it will be. Well, thanks, Patty Mason, business manager of the Houstonian newspaper at Sam Houston State University. Thank you, Pierre. For Thank you. My pleasure. And that will do it for this edition of City Spotlight. We hope you've enjoyed the show today, and we hope you'll tune in next time. This is Peter Roussel, your host, saying so long for now from City Spotlight.